Many people feel they're not creative. This is just not true. For about 30 years, I owned a jewelry supply company. It was like a hobby shop. We sold all different kinds of beads to make necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. I used to teach customers how to do this. And I, often I would have students come into my class and say, oh, I'm not creative. And then I would teach them the mechanics of making the jewelry, but they would pick out the different stones, the pearls, the other findings, and put them together in their own piece. And it always make a, a, a lovely piece of jewelry. And then I would say, see, you are creative. And they were always surprised and delighted at the new sense of self-worth that they, that they achieved. What if you could tap into your creativity uh, to, for projects at any time? Would this be a value to you? Well, with meditation, you can do just that. By meditating on a problem, you can come up with unique solutions. When I worked in software development, often we would be given a project or a set of requirements by a customer. And then I would look at the problem and say, gee, how would I like to use this product? And, I, and I'd sit there and see how it would work in my mind. And then I'd say, how is the customer or the end user going to use this product? And I'd look at it from their point of view. And then I'd come up with, with a, a ultimate design and then all of this while meditating. In the end, the customer got a better solution than they requested. To learn to use more of your mind, meditate on the problem. Enroll in one of my classes today and let me be your guide into tapping into the creativity to use more of your mind. Use the power of meditation to tap into your creativity.